Scripture we are able to do what? To make thee wise. So the Bible says when we know the scripture, it makes us wise. Why do you think the Bible says that? What, what kind of wisdom can come out of the scripture that will make you wise? I agree with the Bible, especially Proverbs, that the knowledge of God is the beginning of wisdom. Right. I fully agree. However, my problem and the problem of every black man is that education and the knowledge which he seeks which he needs to uplift himself in this world is being withheld from them and that is the injustice it's not the white man you understand me it's the corruption of black people who govern us all right so let me show you something give me um deuteronomy don't go because you, you're making a good point right so get, give, give me deuteronomy chapter 28 and give me verse 40, 40 is it 48 let me show you something you say it's not the white man it's a black man but guess what the, the behavior that our people have, we, we, we learned it. It's a learned behavior. Because if you look at the Chinese man, are they in harmony with each other? Do you see them trying to help each other? All right, the Caucasian, do you see them trying to help each other? Same thing with the East Indian. But when you examine our people, we're the only people who fight against each other. So wouldn't you think that there's something that is causing us to fight against each other? I, I totally agree. You understand me? A lack of education and classical bad mind. All right, so let's show you. That bad mind you're talking about was taught to us because they have what they call the Willie Lynch letter. Have you ever heard about the Willie Lynch letter? In the Willie Lynch letter, the slave master set the black man against each other. And he set it up where we will not trust each other, but we will trust the other nation. We will trust the white man. But this is a curse from the Mosai and the Israelite as a result of not keeping God's commandment. So let me show you that. I'm going to show you why we are standing on the corner with the Bible. And we are trying to teach our people who they are. And to let them know that we are not like every other nation that walks the earth. Even though we are the ones suffering the most, there is a reason behind it. Right? Read what you have. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandment which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So who do you think God was talking to through Moses here? Who, who was God telling these words to? Exactly. So let's get chapter 1 and verse 1 and show that to you. Read. Deuteronomy 1 verse 1. This be the word which Moses speak unto all Israel. So indeed you are correct. God was speaking to the Israelites. And he said once they keep his commandment, they would be above all nations on the earth. So if you are above all nations on the earth, what position or what status is that? What is that status? You would be what they call the ruling class today, right? So look at our people. Are we ruling? No. So it's, I'm showing you the root problem. I'm showing you the root cause of why we bad mind each other, why we fight against each other, why we try to destroy each other. There's a reason behind it. So God says, once we keep his commandment, we would set an eye above all nations, meaning the position that the white man have today ruling the whole world, we would be in that position. We had that position in the time of David and King Solomon, but we lost it. Now, let's get to verse 15. This is where the, the problem starts for us. Read that. Verse 15 of Deuteronomy 28 chapter. But it shall come to pass, if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandment and his statute which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God says, if we don't observe to do God's commandment, curses was going to come upon us. So the, the bad mind that you see we have is a result of the curse. The hatefulness that we have amongst each other is as a result of the curse of God. Why? Because we refuse to keep God's commandment. The churches that you see in the society, they were set up by the same Caucasian race because they are the ones who set themselves up as God. They teach us to hate ourselves and to love them. How do I prove that? Look at our brothers and sisters. Most of them, they are doing what they call bleaching. And if you ask them why they bleach, oh, it's just a fashion. No, it's an inferiority complex they are having while they're trying to look like the white man. The women, they have woolly hair, but they, they straighten it. Why? They want it to look like the white man because they have what? Inferiority complex. And that's a part of the curse that's in the Bible. But God says these are the things that happen to us when we don't keep his commandment. You understand so far? So give me verse 48 now. So I'm going to show you that. Everything that we have and learned today, we got it from the people who brought us here. Because we are not originated from here, right? We, we were brought here. Read what you got. Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. Who, God, who, who does God say the Israelites are going to serve? 
therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. So that's why the first question I ask, who do you think the enemies of the people who were brought in slavery are? God says the Israelites would serve their enemy. So the people who brought us in slavery, the Bible considered them to be our enemy. Because if me and you is good friend, I'm not going to put you in hard bandage and work you until you die and you have kids and I use those kids in the same manner, right? A, a friend would not do that, right? Continue reading. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Who sent the Caucasian race against our people? The Lord shall send against thee. So you see this brother? It was not the white man who had a bright idea that he needs some slaves. God put it in his mind to come to the west coast of Africa. As a matter of fact, the, the first slave, tra slave, tra slave ship came from Spain because we rule Spain. Under the dark ages, we were ruling Spain, if you look up the history. So they brought us here because why? Read that again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So God sent them against us. Read on. In hunger. So when we are hungry on the plantation, we have to look to them for the food. Today, bringing up today, where does the food from Jamaica come from? Majority of the food that we eat, where does it come from? Do we produce it here? Uh, well, it's only a small majority. Only a small. So you, if, if, if the import should be cut off from Jamaica, do you think Jamaica would be able to feed the population by itself? Well, we could, but it is extremely difficult. It would not be possible because one of the things that also happened, they destroyed the agriculture sector. And that was not by accident. You understand? So God said we would have to serve them for food. Read on. In hunger and in nakedness. Nakedness. The clothing that we wear on our back, we don't produce it. Right? It comes from China, Taiwan, Indonesia, all of these places. You might say, yes, we have dressmaker and we have tailor in the society, but where do they get the fabric from? It comes from overseas. So God says we're going to have to serve them for clothing as well. Read on. And in thirst. The thirst. They say Jamaica is a place of land of food and water. Right? The, 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 the water that comes into your house, who control it? The government. And who control the government? Britain, because they have to pay tax to Britain. So the money that they collect, they have to pay a portion of it to Britain. So God said we have to pay for water as well. We have to look to those people who are ruling over us. Read on. And in want of all things. In want of all things. Guess what? We want to learn about God. Who taught us God? Who taught us that Jesus is white? Who taught us that St. John 3 verse 16 being God loved everybody? Why did not the slave master apply St. John 3 verse 16 when we were enslaved, when they were raping us, beating us, and enslaving us? Why didn't they apply St. John 3 verse 16? Do Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.